What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my guide to Mehmed in Rise of Kingdoms. So this is episode three of my legendary tier list series. If you haven't watched the previous ones, I talked about El Cid. We also talked about Frederick. And of course, this video is going to use the same guidelines as the previous two. Quick reminder that there is already a written guide for Mehmed, as well as all other legendary commanders on my website, riseofkingdoms.org. There's going to be a link in probably the pinned comment to the Mehmed guide so you guys can use that in the future as a quick reference tool now one last thing before we jump into it my analytics show that roughly 82 percent of my viewers are actually not subscribed to my channel so this is just a quick reminder guys if you enjoy the content if it's useful to you if it's informative or entertaining or whatever subscribing to the channel helps me out a ton and of course click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video this way you don't miss any of the upcoming guides okay with that all out of the way let's jump into mehmed so mehmed is a leadership conquering skill-based legendary commander that you can get from the golden keys will sometimes show up in the expedition metal shop although he's very rare and as of today you can actually get him from the daily special offers as well finally you can convert your universal legendary commander sculptors into Mehmed and I think there's very few players who should be doing that let's take a look at Mehmed's skills his active skill is called Ottoman cannons it has a rage requirement of a thousand it does an AoE direct damage factor of 1150 now his AoE area is actually a bit smaller than the standard AOE area. So most AOE is in a fan shape. Some commanders have a bigger fan shape like Ethelfled. Most commanders have a standard fan shape. Mehmed's AOE is actually a, a more narrow fan shape area. I think he's actually the only commander, if I'm not mistaken, with a smaller fan shaped area. So as you can see here, his fan shaped area is a little bit smaller than the second one, which is Sun Tzu, who has a more standard fan shaped area. But he can still hit up to five targets. Damage to each target is reduced by 15% per target. And if he's attacking a city, he does an additional damage factor of 700. So you can see this active skill, it's decent in the open field, but it actually hits like a truck when it's hitting a city. His second skill is called Lord of Land and Sea, and it gives you a 20% attack bonus and a 20% skill damage bonus. Now the attack bonus is for any troop type. So it doesn't matter who is in Mehmed's army, they're getting 20% extra attack, which is really nice. His third skill is called Faith. And when he's attacking a city, his normal attacks have a 10% chance to deal a 1000 additional damage factor to that city garrison. Mehmed's fourth skill is called Sage King, and it says troops led by this commander have a 10% increase troop capacity and when Mehmed is launching a rally the rallied army capacity is also increased by 10% finally Mehmed's expertise is called Orban bombard it increases his direct damage factor to 1350 and when he's attacking a city the additional damage factor is bumped up to 800 and then there's a 50% chance of doing another 500 damage factor to the city garrison and watchtower combine that with the 20% increase in skill damage and the random chance for 1000 additional additional damage factor and the 10% larger rally capacity, Mehmed is built to attack cities. That's what he does. Now, one last thing to notice about Mehmed's skills are that his first two skills are actually good in the open fields and in Canyon, as well as hitting cities. Whereas his last two skills are really just for hitting cities. You do get a little bit of extra troop uh, bonus as well. But what that means is that if you're a free to play player or a low spender and you're leveling up Mehmed, you're probably not going to be hitting cities. So what you might as well do is max this first skill. Then him to then take him to two stars max the second skill and then you can take him all the way to four stars and at five five one one he'll actually be decent in the open field if you have no one else to use as a secondary as far as talent trees go this talent tree build is specifically for open field fighting and for your canyon team you can see we go all the way to the end of the skill tree for maximum rage regeneration we ignore the additional damage factor buff here because this additional damage factor is only dealt to cities and garrisons we get some extra counter attack bonus here in the conquering tree we get some extra fresh recruits over here and we also get 20 percent extra defense for two seconds every time an active skill goes off and with this build we're going to be pumping those active skills out as much as possible this second build is going to be if you are rallying with Mehmed as the rally captain and have a secondary commander that also deals skill damage you can see here now we go all the way up and grab the additional damage factor buff because you're going to be dealing a ton of additional damage factor if you're hitting a city with Mehmed. you can see the leadership tree just doesn't change at all but in the conquering tree we do go over here 
here and grab entrenched because that's a super powerful talent when you're hitting cities of course these talent trees are actually on rise of kingdoms.org so again there will be a link probably in the pin comment to check out the Mehmed guide over there if you want to grab some images of these talent trees now let's break down where Mehmed falls on the tier list now that we know exactly what he's good at doing as for open field performance Mehmed actually performs decently well here the reasons for this are because really powerful aoe damage he does bring more troops he also elevates that skill damage he's decent at 5511 and in the early game you can use him with mixed troops there's really no penalty to throwing whatever kind of troops you want in a Mehmed army however that's also a downside in the later game he doesn't focus on a specific troop type and he only does give a 20 percent attack boost with that second skill so overall Mehmed actually performs at a b ranking in the open field category as for rallying objectives Mehmed falls a little bit short here uh, the reason for that is because his primary skill his third skill his expertise all that additional damage factor that you love when you're hitting a city with Mehmed just isn't there when you're rallying an objective and what makes Mehmed shine is all that bonus damage that he brings because he's not performing any buffs or debuffs or any sort of support or utility or anything like that and because that he only gets a C ranking in the rallying objective category when it comes to rallying cities however Mehmed actually performs much better here and again it's because of all that additional damage factor when he's expertise he will on average be dealing 2400 direct damage factor to that city garrison plus he gives you that 20 percent bonus in skill damage here his rallies are also just going to be bigger than other rallies because of this fourth skill because of that i'm going to give Mehmed actually an s tier ranking for the rallying city category this may actually be a little bit controversial the reason for that is because you don't actually see that many Mehmed city rallies and i think that has partially to do with the fact that people just don't expertise Mehmed, right it just takes so long to get him from gold keys and you really do want all of his skills maxed before you hit a city with him also he is an older commander so hitting cities with Mehmed is more of an early game thing that you would be doing and later in the game if you already have somebody with max Attila Takeda's or max Nebu's or max Ramses with Isong you know those rallies just take precedent because it's what people have it's what they've already invested in and are they really gonna go out of their, out of their way to invest in Mehmed just for city rallies it's not something that you do very often the answer is probably no and so that's why you don't really see him too often Often, but I do think he deserves that S tier ranking for hitting cities. Maybe he's the, the, he just makes that S tier cut. He just makes it. The next two categories are defending objectives and defending cities. And it should come as no surprise that Mehmed actually does not perform here at all. He performs terribly. Uh, he gives you 20% attack. And other than that, he's just pumping out skill damage. There's really no benefit to having Mehmed on your wall or in your flag as a, as a flag captain. So for both these categories, Mehmed actually gets a D ranking. He's just not someone you should be using to defend any sort of objective as far as cannon performance goes Mehmed actually performs pretty well here for most players and that's because you can get him to 5511 and he's going to be dealing decent aoe damage while also buffing the skill damage of whoever else you bring with him so perhaps Sun Tzu and he gives you that a uh, little bit of extra army bonus here with this fourth skill if you do happen to level this up past that five five one one point you can get five five one two five five one three if you get lucky five five one five would be amazing for canyon performance from Ahmed. and yeah that's really what you want in canyon you want powerful aoe you want more troops you want more skill damage and if you can perform all that at five five one one for a legendary that's pretty good so because of that Mehmed actually gets a b ranking in the canyon category finally let's talk about pve content we're talking about barbs and forts Mehmed doesn't really provide that much here in this category now you normally do want aoe for this category because you can get some free barb kills with it but the problem is that the aoe area for Mehmed is actually smaller and we talked about this earlier so you're less likely to get those free barb kills with a med than you are with somebody like Esong or with Ethel Flood. Beyond that, we don't see any additional damage to Barbarians. We don't see any extra uh, experience gain. We don't see any March speed even. We don't see the Peacekeeping tree. Uh, there's really no real reason to use Mehmed when Peacekeeping unless you just need that damage factor. And because of that, he gets a C tier ranking in this category. Again, he's powerful, but you know, you just have a lot of better options. Now that we've covered all the different categories for Mehmed, let's talk about his overall tier ranking. Now, remember guys, this is a tier list for investment purposes. How much value you're going to get out of investing in Mehmed? I would say Mehmed is a C tier legendary commander. And the reasons for this are because 
he's really really good at one thing and you're not going to do that thing very often especially as a free to play or low spender and if you were going to be rallying cities a lot you might as well invest in like attila takeda or even a ramses e song right there's a lot of better options to be investing your legendary commander sculptures in rather than mehmed and hey you will get him for free over time from those golden chests in the tavern it's going to be a really slow grind to get him only from those gold chests but you will eventually get him there hopefully you've been leveling him up responsibly and you can get him to five five one one and then everything after that is just a bonus hopefully it lands in that fourth so that way you may be able to use him somewhat in your canyon team you know i really wish they would make mamed a bit more powerful because he's just one of the coolest looking commanders in the game i mean look at his he's got a sick beard that amazing helmet and the golden scimitar like he's just he's not messing around and his active skill with those cannons looks super super cool so i just wish we could see a little bit of a med buff i don't know what it would be maybe make his aoe a half circle like F, like ethel flood right that would just be cool right that wouldn't make him busted good it would just it would just be nice anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel i'm not just saying that it really does help it so go ahead and click that like button subscribe like i said at the beginning of the video 82 percent of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed and as you suspect subscribing helps my channel a ton even better clicking that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kings video really really helps out me as well as helping out you so you go you know when that information comes out fresh off the press comment down below any questions that you have about rise of kingdoms about Mehmed. do you think i'm accurate with my rating for him or do you think that there's some things that i missed about him let me know in the comment section below be sure to follow me on all my social media links my instagram twitter facebook everything is in the description below i post on there more often than i post on youtube so if you want to follow me over there go ahead and do that and finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your Mac. It's a program called Bluestacks and it's my favorite way to play Rise of Kingdoms. You'll experience fewer crashes than if you were playing on like an older phone. And I don't know about you, but I actually like seeing Rise of Kingdoms on a bigger screen. It's just, it's just a quality of life thing. It's just a better way to play the game. Like I said, guys, it's free. Click that link in the description and give it a try. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.